Today, artificial intelligence has been going through some exclusive revolution, where AI systems can now compete with humans at tasks like playing chess and go, recognizing faces, and driving safely. Nonetheless, according to the researchers, a truly conscious robot with feelings and self-awareness is decades away. You're watching Top 10, and if you want to know what happens if robots get brains like humans, then stay tuned until the end of the video. But before we hop into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Show emotions like empathy and flexibility. When it comes to imagination, there is no end and the sky is the only limit. Talk about all the movies out there showing a zombie apocalypse and alien threats that don't really seem realistic to us, but that's not where it ends. One of the most important subjects of all the sci-fi movies out there is the taking over of robots on the human race. Sci-fi may have us worried about self-aware robots, but it's the mindless ones we need to be cautious of. What if we were to tell you that robots could have brains like humans and could actually benefit us? But what will a world of conscious machines be like? Will there be a place in it for us? Nobody guarantees that robots have a rich internal encounter with oneself, that they can have pride in floors they vacuumed or get a kick out of the shocking flavor of a 120 volt current. However, robots would now be able to show some comparable characteristics to the human brain, including sympathy, flexibility, and initiative. Capable of reaching their destination without assistance. Despite the fact that these programmed frameworks might be incredible, they are misty. They work by relating input to the output, similar to a test where you match things in segment A with things in segment B. The AI systems essentially retain these affiliations there could be no more profound rationale behind the appropriate responses they give, and that is an issue. Self-driving vehicles have probably the most developed AI frameworks today. They choose where to control and when to slow down by taking consistent radar and laser readings and taking care of them into calculations. In any case, a lot of driving is based on observing the other driver's moves and reacting protectively, capacities that are related with consciousness. Self-awareness. Lipson's team also fabricated a robot that can foster a good understanding of its body. The four-legged spidery machine is about the size of an enormous tarantula. At the point when turned on, its internal PC has no earlier data stored about itself. It doesn't know how its motors are arranged, what its body plan is, Lipson says, yet it has the ability to learn. It makes every one of the actions it is fit for to understand what happens. How, for instance, turning on a motor bends one of the leg joints. Very much like a baby, it babbles, Slipson says. It moves its motors in a random way. After four days of thrashing, it understood it has four legs and sort out some ways to organize and move them so it can crawl across the floor. At the point when Lipson unplugged one of the engines, the robot acknowledges it presently has just three legs and that its activities presently don't deliver the planned impacts. I would argue this robot is self-aware in a very primitive way, Lipson says. They could imagine things. Another human-like ability that specialists might want to incorporate into AI is initiative. Machines dominate at playing the game Go on the grounds that people guided the machines to tackle it. They can't characterize issues all alone. And characterizing issues is normally the critical step. A bunny in pajamas? A shrimp in a suit? This algorithm imagines it and draws it. A neuroscientist and founder of a Tokyo-based startup, Aria, talks about how to give machines inherent inspiration. In a show, he and his associates simulated agents driving a car in a virtual landscape that incorporates a slope excessively steep for the vehicle to climb, except if unless it gets a running start. Whenever advised to climb the slope, the agents sort out some way to do as such until they get this order, the vehicle sits at inactive, and resolve issues. Kanai's group endowed these virtual agents with curiosity. They reviewed the scene, distinguished the slope as an issue, and sorted out some way to climb it even without guidance. Try to give robots enough inner inspiration to make them better problem solvers, even if they quit and leave the lab. Machines can demonstrate as stubbornness as people. Joshua Bach, an AI specialist at Harvard, put virtual robots into a Minecraft-like world loaded up with delicious, however noxious, mushrooms. He anticipated that they should figure out how to keep away from them. Instead, they stuffed their mouths. Paying attention would not be hard. Notwithstanding mindfulness and self-motivation, 
A critical capacity of awareness is the ability to concentrate. Selective attention has been a significant territory in AI research of late, not least by Google DeepMind, which fostered the Go playing PC. The first version of Lita was a task coordinating with worker for the U.S. Naval Force. It read messages and focused on relevant data while shuffling each job hunter's interests, the accessibility and availability of jobs, and the prerequisites of government organization. Self-motivation From that point forward, Franklin's group had utilized the system to model animals' minds, particularly social idiosyncrasies that come about because of zeroing in on each thing in turn. For instance, Lita is similarly, however, inclined as people may be to a curious psychological phenomenon known as attention blink. When something grabs your eye, you become neglectful of whatever else for about a large portion of a second. This psychological vulnerable side relies upon numerous elements and Lita shows human-like reactions to these equivalent elements. Penti Heikkinen, a Finnish AI analyst, has constructed a robot named XCR1 on comparative standards. Though different scientists make humble cases, make some quality of consciousness, Heikkinen contends that his creation is fit for certified subjective experience and basic emotions. Concluding the argument, in light of what we've seen up until now, conscious machines will acquire our human weaknesses. On the off chance that robots need to understand what different robots do, they will treat each other as animals with agency, like us. They may begin crediting agency to lifeless things, soft toys, carved sculptures, the breeze. A year ago, social therapist Kurt Gray of the University of North Carolina and the late Daniel Wegner recommended in their book, The Mind Club, that this nature was the beginning of religion. I would like to see a movie where the robots develop a religion, because we have engineered them to have an intentionally prior so they can be social, Verschur says, but their intentionality prior runs away. These machines will inconceivably surpass our critical thinking capacity, yet not all things are a reasonable issue. The lone reaction they could have to conscious experience is to revel in it, and with their extended scopes of tangible discernment, they will see things people wouldn't accept. I don't think a future robot species is going to be heartless and cold, as we sometimes imagine robots to be, Lipson says. They'll probably have music and poetry that we'll never understand. This was all about what happens to robots if they get a brain like humans. What do you think about AI and robots getting humanistic characteristics? Let us know in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the bell icon.